What is up, my bitch crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. It's your first time here, welcome aboard. Oh, I forgot. I, forgot. I didn't bring my orange hat. Damn. First time here, welcome aboard. Coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, we have Mr. Roy Boy himself again. TikTok, Mr. Twitter, Mr. Tinder first date. Don't want him to meet your parents. Guy right here. 17 years old, out of 70 foot Boston Whaler. Today, I don't know what the plan is, but Roy Boy told me to bring all kinds of stuff. So, Roy Boy, what's the plan today? Try to get something for the steamer and go pick some opihi. Some diving, some picking opihi, so a mixed bag just for you guys today. But if, your, but if it is your first time here, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell notification, be notified whenever I do go live because I will probably go live today. And you only know about it if you hit the if you hit the, the no notification. What's this? It's all foggy. Why is it foggy? So we will probably go live today, but you only know about it if you hit the notification. So hit the bell notification. Or not the bang notification. Bang the notification button. Be notified whenever I do go live. And then uh if you can't hit the like button, every time you do, it saves a dolphin. Right there, right there. Alright buddy, so we'll see you when we get out there. Beautiful day in Kanye. Look at this. It's like a lake today. Beautiful. Alright everybody, we'll see you out there. But the water is just too clear. Not to go dive. Like, this is the most clean. So we're probably going to be able to dive a spot that most times you can't be diving over at all. Probably, yeah, right? Yeah. So I think one of those spots you can maybe dive maybe, what, a dozen times a year maybe? If you're lucky with the weather. There's always a swell or it's too rough. Yeah, so today's just a perfect day. So we're going to hit this spot. And we'll see. Maybe there's an abundance of fish because, you know what I mean? The spots are less hit. Technically, should be more better. So we'll see. We're going to sit up and we'll see you under the water. That's what I forgot. Roy with his Roy Venture wetsuit. Links are in the bar if you want to get one. Super sick suits. So this was like the first drop I made in this area. And this whole area where we were kind of were driving, diving, we're diving on like more the, the upper part of the reef, the shallower part. It was like 30 to maybe 40 the deeper spots. But in these drops, it would literally drop down maybe like another 20 feet. And on the deeper side, probably at least 40 feet. It was crazy. And I was like, you know what? We got to explore these little cliffy little ledge areas because I know for sure these valleys will probably have some big stuff inside like Oluos and other stuff. But like I told Roy, if for some reason I come across an Oluo today, I'm not shooting it. I don't have a reel on my gun. I'll end up losing my gun. I'll watch it. I'll let you shoot it if you want to shoot it. So here goes Roy Boy taking a drop on a Monokali which is a type of goatfish. So this area did not disappoint with the amount of goats that were over here. The bad thing was, it was still early in our dive. This was literally our first spot of the day. So we weren't really, I guess, warmed up yet. I know I needed to get new bands. And honestly, this dive made me realize like, you know what, I should have got new bands before I went diving this day. But this first fish I took a shot at is a umamale. It's a type of unicorn fish. Really good eating on the grill. Unfortunately, he got away. Here goes Ray Boy, taking a nice bomb drop on a umamale also. These are by far one of the best fish to eat on the grill. You throw them on the grill, once they're cooked, you peel back the skin, a little show you and chili pepper water, and you're good to go. So this was one of my last drops over here. This place is prime with goldfish, but they kept hanging out more on the deeper end of the drop. More deeper than honestly what I'm comfortable diving right now. I'm still getting back into it. But you can see the nice moon over here in the background. This place is loaded with goats, and we'll definitely be back here in the very, very near future. But I was like, yeah, I gotta get one of these to go home to get to my neighbor, make him happy. So I got one, and I guess sealed the deal with this spot. Okay, so now we're on the board. <laughs> we're good. You might have to warm up first. Yep. <laughs> with this type of fish that has blades on its tail, what I like to do is I like to bring the fish, which I'm not gonna put on camera, and then what I'll do is use my knife and actually cut the blades off the tail, just to be safer. Because when you put them in the cooler, and you dig in a cooler to get the fish out, if one of these blades catch you, it's gonna give you a super bad cut. I mean, really bad. Roy Boy actually got accidentally cut this day when he was trying to bleed his fish, or brain his fish, actually. Before we left this spot, Roy Boy was like, let me take one drop on the ledge. Right here's about 40 feet, and looking down is at least another 40 feet. Literally, the great unknown. So this is spot number two for this day. If the other place that we went to, the first spot, was the goldfish spot, this would definitely be the spot for the parrotfish. There's all kind of parrotfish around here, or uhus as we refer to them in Hawaii. But this was a cool little cave, I guess, little dive through area that I saw that I was like, you know what? I'm sure if you come back in the future, this place would definitely be holding probably an olua or maybe a good sized papillo. But a cool little cave thing. There's some nice twalls going in and out, but of course when I dropped, they disappeared. 
but a cool spot for sure. Roy Boy actually pulled off the find of the day. He actually found a super nice quarry shell. He collects shells and has a super nice collection. So when he found this, I wasn't surprised. He's always finding shells wherever we go. Here's Roy Boy taking a shot on a parrotfish, or what we call in Hawaii a uhu. He got like a mid body kind of a gut shot on it, and these fish are so soft, it's so easy for them to rip off. He actually ran to a hole and kind of stood there. So I told Roy, you know what, let's just see what happens. Maybe he'll come out. Roy and I kept searching in the hole that he ran into, and we couldn't find him. After about a good minute or two, he actually popped out and died right in front of us on the reef. It worked out. We didn't let a nice fish go to waste, and Roy got his first nice uhu of the day. So we're actually on the board in this area, which was awesome. So I freeze the frame right here just to show a big mori. It was about a five, six foot mori. I was making a drop right here, and I changed my mind. There was a nice goldfish, and I was like, you know what? Ah, eh, maybe not. But honestly, my question to you guys is, would you like to see me shoot one? Because they're my biggest show in diving. I hate these things. And I was like, you know what? If I just conquer my fear and kill one with a three prong and take it home and eat it, maybe I won't be so afraid of them. So let me know in the comments. If you want to see me go after one, I've been telling Roy Boy about it for a while. I really want to kill one. Here goes Roy taking a bomb drop on a uhu, another parrot fish. He kept telling me, the uhus in this area, you got to bomb drop them. You can't land the bomb. They're not going to come in. It's different over here, but you know what? The technique definitely works. Here's Roy Boy showing me his bomb drop skills again. This uhu goes in a hole and Roy's like, I don't want to bend my shaft, so let's take off one bat. And he was telling me this whole day, the smaller ooze are better eat than the bigger ooze. And you know what? The next day, I kind of found that out to be true. If you stay around to the end, you'll see what I shoot. I love using my three prong, but I made it a point to use my gun all day this day. Rookie mistake, my safety was on, and I missed my perfect shot. I took a late rush shot, and I totally missed that also. So I guess, you know, I gotta build the time behind the gun and get a little more comfortable with it. Just definitely part of paying the dues, I guess. So this is spot number three for the day. And honestly, over here was a complete mixed bag of stuff. So right here, I luck out and I get a, a small uhu. But over here was just a total mixed bag. Lots of boulders, lots of shells, lots of little dallies in the reef. But a super good spot. And probably one of those spots you can maybe dive maybe about six times a year if you're lucky. Here goes Roy taking a drop on what we call Roy's in Hawaii or Peacock Grouper. They're honestly an invasive species and they should always be killed whenever you see them. It doesn't matter the size. If you see them, kill them. You don't have to eat them. You can even cut them up and feed them to the fish. But whenever you see them, kill them because they eat all the good fish on the reef and they're invasive. So do your part and kill them whenever you see them. Here I go with my chance in the same exact area as Roy did, taking a drop on another Roy. I honestly like shooting Roy's because it gives me a chance to get some practice in shooting a fish. And honestly, I shot this Roy and I ended up just chumming it up and feeding the other fish around. But as you can see here, they come out the hole and they literally just look at you and let you shoot them. Um, but me and Roy, diving with a good partner, it's always one up, one down so we can watch each other's back. Once I make it to the surface and he knows I'm good, he goes right down afterwards to get his drop in. So it's key, dive with a good partner, make sure you watch each other's back, make sure everyone always goes home safe every trip. No matter what, that's the most important thing. So here's Roy picking off a nice omilu, or papillo is what else we call them. A nice sized one, there's a school of three of them and he was able to pick off the biggest one. But this right here is a really, really good fish eating in a frying pan or I mean, you can even steam it, but a super good all around eating fish. And 
here's Roy Boy with one of his best dive bomb techniques yet again. Make another drop on another uhu or parrotfish. Straight dome shots this thing. That's definitely his favorite way to shoot these things. He said is dive bombing them. Death from above is what I should call it. Not dive bombing, but death from above. That's what he does. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so we just got done diving at our last location. Well, not our last location, but our last location. Look at that cliff. Straight cliff. Can't come over here. Got some OPEs. Got some other stuff. Uh, Roy got a nice Omilu. Saw a, what, a black one, huh? a big one. Huh? Saw one. Got away. But now uh, we're going to go to another spot. We're going to try to go pick some OPEs. If you don't know what OPEs are, they're like a limpid. They're a small little thing that lives on the rock. We picked some over here, but there's a spot where there's a lot more. We get those. And then you pretty much eat them raw. They're good eating. The big ones you put them on the grill. And I guess after that, probably go dive some more. It's still early. What time is it, Roy? It's like 1.49 in the afternoon. It's still early. We got time. We got time. All right. Well, let's go pick up here. We'll see you guys after and on. We'll pick some OP real fast. Big old five, little half inch. I think a quarter. Long as your size of a quarter. I think it's like half inch a day. We're going to pick some of those. My son likes some raw. I'm not going to show you too much of it. Got to keep that in a top secret location over here. I guess we'll pick some OP and then we'll see you back at the boat for more diving. Catching OPs is one, probably one of the most deadliest things to do in Hawaii. For like, sport-wise in Hawaii. It's so dangerous to the waves. Today we're lucky we can lock out today because the waves are small today. So it's not too bad, you know what I mean? The wind is down. But with this... <laughs> let me see that. Let me see that one. The holy crap! Oh, this is like the biggest one piece I've ever seen. For Oahu, okay, for all you big eye guys, like that's nothing. For Oahu, these are boulders. Oh, bro. That's conquerors right there. Wow. So, I know you guys are watching this catch up. Don't think that we're taking everything. Honestly, we're just taking the big ones. There's so much over here that. We're not, we're not over harvesting, trust me. Whatever we get, a lot of it, we're going to give it to family and friends. So don't think, oh, you guys are pounding them. No, we're going to give it away. We're not going to sell it or anything like that. But there's so much over here. We didn't even put a dent in it, yeah? So now we're literally jumping off the rocks, and we're going to swim back to the boat to offload our OPE and go to our last spot to go diving. But while I were swimming back to the boat, I was like, perfect, time for a quick snack. What is this? A sea cucumber. Guess what? It does not taste like cucumber. That's just a... Pro tip for you guys. Washing the cream off his face. You need cream to put on a wetsuit, it's conditioner. But we're gonna dive to the last one of the day. After this, we have to go take graduation pictures for him because he graduates high school this year. So you'll see those pictures at the end. It's gonna be pretty sweet because I'm gonna take them. <laughs> I literally shot my personal best ooh this day. Like they say, I guess it's better to be lucky than good. I pay my dues all day, not shooting much, and I guess I lucked out at the end. My personal best ooh, 11 pounds, 3 ounces.
This was literally my second and last drop I made over there. The water is super dirty. And with all the blood in the water over there, it tends to get sharky, Roy said. So we left after this. But thanks to Roy for the backup shot. Because honestly, they rip off so easy. On a fish that big, it was definitely a score. It definitely made my day epic. So thanks again to Roy for the backup shot. So if you saw last week's video, we're back in the caves again. It honestly looks like... It looks like uh, Smash Mountain in Disneyland without a bird caca. But we gotta take Roy Boy's graduation picture. He needs to put on a lower shirt. But that last spot is super murk. It wasn't deep, it was like 20 feet. But I lucked out, you saw the ooh, you saw what happened. Super lucky. Roy Boy forgot his comb. So he's using his spike to have me to comb his hair for his graduation pictures. That's some working. kind of little stuff right there. Oh, it looks way better. It worked. Perfect. Oh, we're gonna end it there, guys. No catch cook this week. Too tired for the catch cook. Uh, but look at that shell. That quarry shell right by God. That's a dozer. But pretty good. That's gonna be my PB Uhu to beat now. I don't know how big it is. How big do you think that is, Roy? Eight pounds. And you look at eight pound Uhu. So, right on. Good action. Thanks for Roy Boy for taking me on the adventure. Uh, if you can, hit the bell notification. Uh, Hit the like button. Like literally it takes me like 9,000 clicks on my computer to make this video. I'm just asking for one click on the keyboard just to like this video. But as always everybody, whew, action. We'll see you next week Saturday 7 p.m. Tight line, stay fishing. And we'll see you on the water, under the water. Hello everyone. Yeah, Roy boy. So tired now, we need Red Bull. We need a Red Bull sponsorship is what we need. Oh, that'd be sick there, Oh, bang. Bang energy. Oh, that'd be on. Good day today, boys. Good day today. That's a dozer. That's a dozer for sure. Alright, everybody.